What's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to be installing um, a, the Castle Dual Fan Setup, the 2028. I picked up for my 6S uh, X Max. Um, I picked up the dual cooling fan setup because the motor does tend to get a little hot. And I figured a little extra airflow to help keep that motor cool um, would be a good thing. And also the, the, fan was, the fans were relatively cheap. Um, something else I picked up was the, the Venom Pro Duo uh, charger. Just because my Traxxas charger tends to have some problems charging those 6600 uh, VAT battery packs. I always have to run it through the charge cycle twice, so I'm hoping that Venom uh, charger will take care of that. Well, without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, we basically got it all installed here. Um, it just grabs power off of one of your spare channels, it, uh, off your receiver. And uh, on mine, it had three spare channels, so I went ahead and weaved it through and got it connected in there. Um, just a quick tip for you guys. This little cover, it's kind of kind of in a tight spot and it, it initially it seems like it don't want to come out so just a quick tip just completely remove all the screws I know it's it's kind of dumb but they're kind of in a tight spot so you really don't seem like you can't get in there to remove them but if you you remove those screws they'll just kind of slide out and you won't have to remove this this little battery support cover whatever you want to call it right there um, but yeah, because initially that's what I was going to do, but I've seen all the screws. And I thought, nah, I just, I'll try to get to those and remove them and see if it actually slides out. And sure enough, it slid right out. Alright, we're done. Um, it's real quick and easy, and it's a cheap upgrade to, if you're a little worried about how hot your motor is actually getting. Um... And it was real cheap. I think I paid like ten bucks for the for the dual fan setup. I didn't use um, the wire ties just because it, it it's fitting on there fairly fairly snug. And what I'm gonna do, it has these little plastic notches on both sides because it don't exactly sit um, sit flush. So I'm gonna take my Dremel and kind of grind them out and see if I can get it to fit a little more flush. And it it sh should even make it fit tighter. And if it does fit a little tighter, I'm not even going to worry about the wire ties. I don't think it's going to have any issues. Um, well, anyways, I hope you guys like the video. Um, and if you do, please like and subscribe. Thank you.